Hello guys, my name is Ojas and welcome to recitation 0C in this ideal course. This will be a part A of this series. We'll be looking for tensors and there are a few more operations we can perform on tensors. So we will be using the framework PyTorch in this course. So PyTorch is, a, is an open source deep learning framework. We have given a few steps down in this notebook. The uh, link for this notebook will be in the description uh, for this video. So uh, if you need, you can use these instructions to install Py, uh, PyTorch. And uh, then we will look for a few operations on the tensors. So uh, what, what are tensors? Tensors are used to represent the data for machine learning and uh, for this purpose the data generally needs to be stored numerically especially when we are dealing with the neural network data representation we use the data repo repository known as tensors so a tensor is a container which can house the data in n dimensions along with the linear operations so if we look at it in a mathematical perspective tensors are more than a simple data container it can hold the information about the linear transformations between the tensors and also the descriptions um, so going ahead you will be using a required grad parameter if we set this parameter to true it does hold the information about the gradient of the so the operations being performed on those tensors and the gradients for that uh, because we need to use them in a backward pass this may sound a little alien for you as of now but it's okay it's fine you'll be getting to know about it this more in uh, coming lectures so um, let's look at it as a computer science uh, from a computer science perspective it can be helpful for you to think it as uh, a ob an object in object oriented sense rather than a simple data structure so yeah let's dive in um, this is how, uh, as I said, this is how you can install the PyTorch uh, if you need. This is the uh, represent. This is the uh, representation. Uh, you can imagine how scalar vector mat scalar vector matrix and tensors are different from each other. They are uh, similar to each other, but tensor is a bit different uh, while representing the data and. Um, Tensors are similar to NumPy n-dimensional arrays, except that tensors can run on GPUs or other hardware accelerators, and it's pretty efficient to use tensors for them. You can parallelize the tensor computation, which reduces the runtime drastically. And this is really important, which uh, you guys will get to know when we go ahead with the course. We import the torch after uh, installing the PyTorch and uh, this is the manual seed with this uh, we, we are using this to generate the random sequence I'll let you know when we are using the random sequence and um, then this is um, we are just we this is how we check if the device is available device in this case is uh, it, it can be a GPU or any hardware accelerator as we discussed so currently i am not using a gpu so i am getting a uh, false over here but if you're using a gpu you'll get true so how do we construct a tensor this is how a torch dot once constructs a tensor which has all ones in it we need to give the size in here then uh, torch dot zeros does the same thing just zeros then torch dot i gives us the identity matrix sorry identity 
matrix tensor then torch dot rand gives us the random generated numbers in this particular size which we give in and then arrange we can arrange so if we give seven uh, over here we get zero to six seven uh, uh, in, in elements in this tensor uh, about this seed which we were, we were talking about over here is going to be used in this random generation so going ahead uh, how do we convert different uh, data types let's say uh, let's say list arrays or existing tensors into the tensors again i mean in, if we have a list we can just use torch.tensor and give the list as an input we get a tensor if we have a numpy array over here so the same thing which gives us the tensor we get the same elements in the tensor we want then uh, we can again same thing uh, numpy array to the tensors and then if we use dot clone we get the existing torch tensor the copy of the clone of the existing torch tensor over here then we'll go to the conversion of numpy array to tensor and vice versa we have a numpy array we can print the data type over here like this dot d type prints the data type and um, uh, we are converting a numpy array to tensor over here again we see we'll see the data type and then we have a tensor over here we'll change the data type to something else um, over here so um, let's see the result uh, we have the numpy array and the result is the resulting data type is int64 then we have a tensor over here we have come converted and then we get the data type int64 but it, this is a pi, uh, this is a torch so this is a tensor of int64 and then we are changing the data type to float tensor and double tensor so dot type and give the input of torch float tensor input as an argument but this gives us the data type of float 32 if we give the float tensor and if we give the double tensor we get the data type of float 64 we can see over here um i'll show you so if we see uh, we get uh, the decimal point over here which tells us that this has been converted into float and here it was int then going ahead um, convert the tensor to numpy array we use detach dot detach over here um, for uh, this task uh, dot detach and dot numpy converts it again to numpy array um, most of the times we have to push our tensor to the device device which is gpu uh, this helps us reducing the runtime to great extent as every tensor which we are com which we are using for the computation is on the device it doesn't need to fetch it again and again from the cpu to gpu and uh, this helps us but if we are done with uh, the computation and we need the uh, need it back again we use this dot detach and then we can convert it into numpy so there there can be more information found with this link this is how we push the data to device the same thing which i was talking about um just go go through this um dot to device it pushes the data to um, device now the main thing accessing these tensors how do we access them it's pretty similar to what we do in numpy arrays so um, the number of dimensions can give us this so 0 0 0 is three dimensional 0th 0 0 0 0 uh, element of that tensor and um, you can go go through this and you'll it will be easier to understand and then uh, uh, slicing again important uh, thing to you you're gonna use in uh, coming homeworks uh, 
this is how we are accessing it then if we need to slice it we use this operation and uh, there, there is a difference between this colon and this colon this is being used for the slicing but this colon is uh, this colon represents all the elements in that dimension so uh, just uh, be sure that you get the difference between these two again all the elements in these two dimensions and the third element of the uh, last dimension we will be printed over here and um, here uh, the last thing um, we are slicing the last dimension until minus two and uh, these are again as i explained so uh, it's really important that you guys play with this on your own uh, you guys uh, try this on your own uh, and uh, it will be really helpful for you and uh, the PyTorch documentation is uh, really vast it's really good and uh, there is a lot of stuff available online as well so uh, it's enough data I would say uh, available online and uh, that is going to be uh, really helpful for you in coming days so that's all for this part i wish you best of luck with the course and let's uh, do this together see you